Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl again, Zelda AKM, and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I am going to be finally talking about my weight loss. Okay, <laughs> yes, I was actually supposed to post this video like years ago. I know but i have been very caught up and i have been very busy with school and everything and i have kind of been scared to post this video because i don't know it's a very delicate topic to me and yeah but i'm finally ready to you know own up to my promises and make this video and i hope this video can encourage you i hope this video can give you tips tricks anything you need to start your own journey or if you know somebody starting their own journey i hope this video can provide some aid so yeah stick to the end of this video watch take a pen take a paper whatever you know take notes i hope you take something away from this video and yeah so i'm going to explain things to the best of my ability from my own personal experience you know just bear in mind as i explain this video through the course of this video that it's just my experience everybody's different things work differently for everybody but this is my approach and what's worked for me i am not condemning your own approaches i'm not saying what you're doing is not working or what your friend is doing is not working no i'm just saying how it worked for me i'm going to break down this video into three parts that is when i lost weight why i lost weight and how i lost weight um then I'm going to continue, you know, each part is going to have its own sub part. So, yeah, let's just get right into it without further ado. When I lost weight, I started this process June 1st, 2022. This is when I started this journey. And when I started, you know, I finally decided to start my journey. And I hit my goal weight in November. So this was about six months so it took me personally six months to lose 20 kilograms so why did i decide to lose the weight i decided to lose weight solely because of i didn't like the way i looked i had gained weight because i had been at home for a while for like i think i was at home for like three months i was at home from like march to june from that march to june i was at home i wasn't doing anything i had no activity um so i gained a lot of weight in this like period of time when i was just home doing nothing just you know my phone all the time on the bed all the time no physical activity i wasn't doing anything i was just you know always laying down always resting and i was eating a lot everything kind of adds up i have never really been like somebody on the smaller side of life i've always been a bigger girl I've always been a plus size girl and this was who i was like you know <laughs> even though yeah i've always wanted to lose weight all my life but like i was okay with that i had already you know accepted that that's what i would say i had already, I had already accepted that okay this is who i am this is how i look this is you know yeah this is this and this is that so i had already accepted that so for me to gain weight and for me to visibly notice it i felt like it was a kind of big change because i was big yes i've always been big but this particular big i wasn't used to and i was walking somewhere one day that's actually the, the day i said oh mom, this enough is enough i was walking somewhere with my mom we were going somewhere and you know i turned and i caught a glimpse like i tell you this look was like two seconds long I got a glimpse of myself in a mirror as I was walking past and I was like, no, like, uh-uh. <laughs> you can't have let yourself go this much. Like, I didn't even recognize myself. Like, I was like, mm -mm. And I didn't like that. And I was like, okay, what can I do to change that? How can I change the way I look? I am not happy in my body. It's not even about this was this has had nothing to do about am I healthy, am I not healthy, or am I eating right, am I not eating right, or will I live to 80? Like this was not the case. And I'm not saying these are not good motivations for you 
if you're going into your journey now or you're going to your journey maybe later or whatever i'm not saying these are not good reasons for wanting to lose weight no i'm just saying these were not my reasons and i didn't do it for health i didn't do it for you know long life now nah. i did it because i wasn't happy in my own skin and if i put on a dress i wouldn't like the way it looked on me or i didn't like the way it fits on me or in and in that moment it was basically because i caught a two second glimpse of myself in the mirror and i didn't like i didn't like who i was seeing and this was all that i needed this was the only catalyst this was the only thing that kind of said okay okay girl this is the this is the time to you know yeah so i said on june 1st 2022 that i am no longer going to be this person that is so unhappy in her body because at the end of the day you spend your whole life in your body and you live in this body and it's not fair to always criticize your body without doing anything about it that's how i saw it like i can't keep talking down on myself i can't keep telling myself i look shit i can't keep saying I don't like the way I look, I don't like the way I look, then just sit down and do nothing about it. Because if I don't do anything about it, tomorrow I'm still not going to like the way I look. Like, if I don't like the way I look today, and I don't do anything, it's not going to change the way I see myself tomorrow. It's going to be the same thing. So I can't keep criticizing myself without making an active change towards it. And that was the first mindset shift that I had to have. Because this is not the first time I was, I've tried to lose weight on the second or the third or the fourth you know the, as a girl on the bigger side of life it was something i was used to if it's oh let me lose weight let me go on a loss journey i have said those words to myself several times you know what changed this particular time from every other time that i had already tried prior i already tried previously which would bring me to how i lost the weight the actual how the chemistry behind the drug or whatever I'm going to break this how into three parts as well. I'm going to talk about your mindset. I'm going to talk about your diet. I'm going to talk about exercise. Because these three things together will give you your results. For me, personally, I'm going to start with my mindset. My mindset, I had to have, have a big mindset shift. I had to stop working solely on motivation. Because at the end of the day, you are not always going to be motivated. When you start your weight loss journey, a lot of things are going to change in your life. A lot of things are your habits that you're used to when it comes to eating and moving your body. They are going to actively change. And you're not always going to be motivated to do something that you're not so used to. That's how I see it. If you're not so used to waking up by 6 a.m. to go to the gym, you're not going to be motivated to go wake up by 6 a.m. and go to the gym every day. Because these are not your usual, usual habits. Maybe you don't even enjoy going to the gym. Maybe you don't want to wake up by 6 a.m. Because who the hell wants to wake up by 6 a.m.? GK. But like, when you have such changes in your usual habits, you are not always going to be motivated to stick to those habits. That is where discipline comes in. That is where you're going to see, even though I'm not motivated today, and I'm going to take my ass and do what I have to do. I'm going to take my ass up and play my part. I'm going to take my ass up and try my best because that is the only thing that's going to keep you going. If you work based on only motivation, I can get I can you can get motivated like once a week. And if you do your part once a week, you're not going to see a result. I am so sorry to say. But that's the truth of the matter. If you do your part, if you play your part, if you do what you're supposed to do once a week, you're not going to see a result. So you're going to have to shift aside motivation. Yes, once in a while, when you start seeing your body changing, you start, you know, seeing your results, you start looking better, your clothes are fitting better, you start sizing down, you are going to be more motivated than, than when, you know, maybe when you started or whatever. But if you work solely on motivation, you're not going to go far. And it's the bitter truth. You're just going to have to be disciplined. You're just going to have to stick to it. You're just going to have to, you know, hammer it in your head that this is what I want, what so I'm going to do for myself. And it is, sorry to say, like, it is hard. It is difficult. It is not easy. I have never, like, the truth of the matter is losing weight or exercise or any 
journey you're going to go on any um step you're going to take in your life it's not going to be easy because nothing is easy at the end of the day but it's only when you are disciplined that you are going to see progress this you are going to see results you're going to have to be steadfast like or more like even though i am not so hyped to do this today i'm going to get it done either ways because it is what i am supposed to do when we're done with discipline i'm going to talk about consistency okay you're not motivated today and you're disciplined you're saying okay even though i'm not motivated today i am going to go and get it done you're going to have to go and get it done every single day you're going to have to be consistent consistently might be the most important mindset change that you need to give yourself because at the end of the day like at the end like see the day or see the end at the end of the day it's only when you are consistent that you shall really see changes things will happen overnight things happen with a little drop if i have a, a cup and i keep putting little little drops of water in it every day one day it's going to be full though. it might take me two weeks it might take me one month it might take me five months but one day that cup is going to be full so imagine i go to i take a cup and i put one drop of water and i put two drops next day next day the, in three days i put the every day i put a drop for five days i stay consistent i do it for five days then i stop putting water in the cup i give up in the next 10 months i say ah oh, i think i want to keep on putting water in this cup if that cup is going to never get full because you are not consistent with it you're not consistent with putting water in your cup this is your cup this is who you want to be so you're going to have to consistently work towards the person that you want to be and it is hard it is not easy it is not a walk in the park that is why i feel like you should find whatever it is that's really going to push you to want to change how you look if it is just to look better that's a good enough reason if it is to because you want to prove people that you can actually prove to people that you can actually lose weight that's any reason just have a reason even if it's one reason that you really want to see change in your body that you really want to see change in how you look that reason is enough for you to keep reminding yourself or oh, more i have to lose this weight too because i have to go and prove to person a that i can lose this weight too or oh, my i have to lose this weight too because i want to prove to myself that i can lose this weight too or oh, i want to lose this weight too because i want to live i want to be healthy just keep reminding yourself of the reason you started this in the first place and keep pushing every day do your part do your part that is the most important thing you will not see change in two weeks you might not even see change in a month but you will see change that's the thing like that's the thing that's so crazy to me you will not see change right away but all those your efforts are not in vain my love i i guarantee you take it from me your efforts are not in vain as far as you keep pushing in effort to something it cannot not bring fruit you can't it's you know it's not possible like it is not possible you cannot water a plant from now every day you cannot water a plant from now to your next day and that plant will not grow even if it's one leaf that effort you're putting my love my brother my sister my sweetheart that effort is not in vain so keep up with it keep up with it because one day one day you will see that change and you'll just be like oh okay you know and when it's when you suddenly when you start seeing the change that you know you might start really believing yourself but at the, even believing yourself when you do not see the change when you take those progress pictures and it's the same thing when you step on the scale and it's the same thing keep believing in yourself because it's only you that can push yourself to be who you want to be nobody can push yourself nobody can push you for you if you get what i'm saying so yes that is the second mindset change you need to make consistency keep on pushing the third mindset change you need to make is patience my love you need to be patient forget all these lose week lose weight in one week and gain it back they will not tell you they gain it back in one week but they will not tell you forget all these oh lose weight in a month lose 30 kg in one month patience it will happen 
take it from me. It took me six months. So it will happen. If it happened for me, it will happen for you. You start seeing small, small changes. People are different. Somebody, somebody else beside me can see a huge difference in one month. While me, I will see, I will not be seeing anything in one month. Stop comparing yourself to others. That's another point I want to make. Don't compare yourself to that person that lost 10 kg in one month. Don't compare yourself to the person that lost 10 kg but she looks like an entirely different person. When you, you've lost your own 10 kg and you don't even look different. Stop comparing yourself to people. You're your own, you should be your own motivation. You should be your own goals. Nobody should be your goals. Just think of the things that you want to reduce. Or maybe it's my tummy I want to reduce. My bum I want to increase. Whatever it is. And stick to that goal in yourself. Do not compare yourself to other people. Because it's only going to bring you down. It's only going to discourage you. It's only going to make you feel like you're not good enough. Do not go compare yourself to others. This is your journey. Nobody else is running there with you. Nobody else is running this race with you. You're the only one running this race. Only you in yourself is running this race. And it's only you that knows how hard it is. Keep pushing for yourself and do not compare yourself to anyone. Okay? Okay. Let's move on to diet. The things you should eat, the things you should not eat. I feel like that's a very important part of your weight loss journey. It is the most important part of your weight loss journey. I think diet plays like 70% and your exercise plays like 30% because what you put into your body is what is going to show on your body. When it comes to diet and eating patterns, when it comes to losing weight, there are 101 diets to follow, whether it be keto, be it plateau, plateau or something like that, um, be it you know intermittent fasting. There are so many there are so many ways in the book, so many eating patterns, so many ways for you to lose weight. The way that I chose to lose weight was intermittent fasting and a calorie deficit. Intermittent fasting is curbing your eating time, your eating clock. It's basically, I can only eat from this time to this time and the rest of the day I am fasting. Um, it is, I will only eat from, I only used to eat from, I used to have a 16-8 window, which means 16 hours fasting and 8 hours window to eat. So I only used to eat from, I think, from 11 to 7 p.m. or so. So I could I could have my first meal by 11 a.m. and my last meal before 7 p.m. That is how, that is how I used to do mine. Intermittent fasting is a good method for people, I feel like for people that eat late at night or who have late night cravings or who, you know, is who the reason, who one of the reasons that they might be gaining weight is because they are always at night in the kitchen eating. It's like setting a boundary. You can only eat from here to here. Now, the, but the truth about intermittent fasting is it doesn't guarantee weight loss. And I'm sorry to break it to you. I'm going to be 110% honest with you. Intermittent fasting does not mean I am going to lose weight. Because that's your eating window. You can use that, small, that eating window and eat times 10 of what you usually eat in a normal day. So intermittent fasting doesn't really guarantee weight loss. It's just a window. It's only just you can eat from this time to this time. And the other times you are fasting for calorie deficit. I would recommend calorie deficit to anybody. Do you know why? Because with calorie deficit, it is basically, I can eat what I want as far as it falls into my calorie regime, as far as it falls into my calorie count for the day. I'm going to explain in more detail of what a calorie deficit is. So basically, if my body burns 2,000 calories a day, as a human being I am, the thing my brain does, my body, everything, all my, you know, um, functions my whole metabolism everything everything in my whole body takes 2000 calories a day i decide to go on a weight loss journey and i say okay since my body takes 2000 calories a day hmm, i am going to now be ingesting i'm going to now be eating 1500 calories a day your body needs five, that extra 500 calories that the reason your body needs 2,000 calories is because that's the amount of calories it needs for everything it's doing in a day. As in, for your normal activities as a human being, you are going to need to eat 2,000 calories. 
So when you decide as someone who wants to lose weight to eat a thousand five hundred calories, you are depriving your body of that five hundred calories. Because two thousand minus one five is five hundred. So five hundred calories, your body needs it, and it's, it needs it. Like it's not going to just say, "Oh, more well, this five hundred calories, I make believe I'm now tomorrow." No. But now what your body is going to do is going to go to stored fat and take it from there. The thing about that is now it boils down to what kind of things are you eating when you are in a deficit you are going to be hungry this food you're eating now as a calorie deficit might not be enough for you you this is not the foods you're used to this is a little less than what you're used to eating so you're going to start getting a little hungry getting more hungry as you're in a deficit but this is this is when the quality of food plays a part the quality of food that you ingest plays a part in at this time why because some foods make you fuller than others some foods don't have are very quick to digest they don't make you full for long so these meals that are don't make you full that don't have any fiber these meals are going to make you want to eat more because i have just had a meal now and two one hour later i'm already hungry again i must have a meal again one hour later i'm really hungry again i must have a meal again and you now realize that i've already had three meals and i am not even full the day hasn't even gone half and i'm not full so this is when you're now you now tend to go over your calories for the day not even just oh i've gone over my deficit because going over your deficit by a little let's say i've if i was supposed to eat five one thousand five hundred and i end up eating one thousand seven hundred for the day that is still a deficit too you are still within your calorie deficit but what i mean is that when you start eating meals that don't have enough fiber that don't make you feel fuller for longer eventually you're going to go over your calories you're going to even pass that two thousand and maybe reach two thousand and five two thousand five hundred which in fact puts you in a surplus in a calorie surplus so you're going to have to eat meals that are going to make you feel fuller for longer i'm going to give you some examples of the meals that i ate as a nigerian living in a nigerian household meals i cooked i'm going to put like a list here which you can screenshot a list of all the meals oats was such a good meal oats, oats is packed with fiber it's so good for you it's delicious you can i feel like oats are very customizable i used to blend oats and make pancakes with them you can literally do whatever it is you want with a good bowl of oats another thing that i used to eat so much when i was losing weight was chicken breast eating high protein foods generally beans is good for you chicken breast is good for you even meat i don't know why people don't recommend red meat for weight loss i think because it's high in calories a bit higher in calories than normal meat but red meat too is good for you eggs are so good for you greek yogurt is almost the best thing that has ever been created for weight loss people greek yogurt is literally perfect for you so what i would advise is high fiber high protein foods i will also advise against drinking like drinking beverages drinking like soft drinks drinking juices when i was losing weight i cut off all of that now that's the thing to so each their own and you, on your own calorie deficit you might decide that you can give yourself like 100 calories for a drink a cup of fanta that is okay for you like that is perfectly fine but what i said to do i said to stick with zero sugar drinks i said to just drink my coke zero if i want to drink something warm i used to drink green tea a lot like all the time i used to you know coke zero water these are the three things that I used to drink like a crazy person on my weight loss journey green tea coke zero water and I still drink those things till today and I have I don't I barely buy soft drinks that are not zero sugar and you know these little changes because I guarantee you coke zero tastes almost exactly like normal coke so this change the, a bottle of coke has about 100 calories and coke zero has zero calories so this change can save you like 100 or something calories that you can use on another meal that will fill you up for longer. A lot of people don't believe that Coke Zero actually has zero sugar. And that's okay, no problem. So just drink more water. Water is good for you. Water is healthy. Water is zero calories. It's just, you know, it's the perfect drink. Yeah. 
and with things like um fruits i used to eat apples i used to eat grapes so the two fruits i ate all the goddamn time i ate so much apples like if i tell you how many how much apples i ate on my weight loss journey if you refund me back all the money i spent on apples i can build like two houses <laughs> i ate so many apples apples are delicious apples are healthy packed full of nutrients i used to eat grapes grapes are delicious literally delicious packed full of you know vitamins nutrients things that you need diet advice i would give is with your oil intake try to minimize your oil intake as much as possible oil is very calorie dense my babes i love you i love you so much and i know how much deep fried food is i know how much fried chicken i know how delicious fried chicken is i know how good it is to fry your egg with oil so it can rise but still oil is pretty calorie dense if you want to have that class of full fat and oil i feel like you can opt for healthier fats like things with healthy fats like avocado and stuff but you see that oil that oil you're using i'm sorry but it has so many calories a spoon of like two spoons of oil can be 300 calories and that is not going to fill you if you drink two spoons of oil who will you fill up so that's what i'm saying so that's another advice i would give you reduce your oil intake because you might be doing everything right but just that oil that you're adding that you're not even calculating you know maybe you're not even counting it can be what is adding like extra 400 calories to your meals now with your whole calorie deficit if you're going to offer a calorie deficit you need to use you need a food skill you need a food skill yeah you do i am sorry like yes you can use the hand method you can use the divided plates you can use smaller plates anyone that is okay for you no problem but i would tell you you need a food skill because the truth is that food can give is very it, i would say it gives the illusion of oh this food is even small but you never even know that it's actually a lot more than you think so that is it like i would advise you to get a food skill i don't think as of when i got my food skill it wasn't that expensive so you know invest in yourself buy a food skill because when i was losing weight i measured out each and every meal of mine every meal i measured out all the ingredients i measured out onions and tomato yes i did and i tracked it on a fitness app i used to use two fitness apps i'll put them here these are the fitness apps i used to use to track my meals i use them to find a deficit because when you're logging into the app they will ask you for your information then to fill things in you after you fill this in then you proceed to like give you information and they'll give you a deficit so i use it to track you know morning afternoon night and they will ask you morning afternoon night and any snack you're having you track this they will tell you the this app life song used to tell me how they thought my food was they thought it was a good meal they thought it was a bad meal they thought it was a you know if it was low in carbs if it was low in protein if it was low in fats if it was high in fats you know they will kind of rate your meals for you to tell you this meal you're eating how healthy is it or how beneficial to your body is it so that is what life some does as for my fitness pal it doesn't rate your meals for you it will just tell you oh these are the amount of calories that you're eating and you kind of you track everything if i am eating 100 grams of rice i will search up rice then i will press 100 grams and press done you know it's now just tracking there in my breakfast category that that's how much i eat like you get so that is you know how to track it and the apps to use um yeah i really hope this whole diet scheme if you have any further questions about the whole diet and how you did it um how i did it body hood diet and how i did the diet and how i was able to you know you know just every day count your calories D eating out yeah i used to eat out solemnly but if i'm eating out like if i know i'm going to maybe i'm going for a wedding i'm going for a party or i'm going for something i would you know i personally i'm not telling you to do it too but i would not eat the whole day and i would just say okay i'm going to dedicate my 1500 calories for this whole day on this event and i would eat what i would like you know maybe don't overdo it other your burger and fries other a nice coke cereal if they have or a small drink and that would be it 
don't i don't feel like you should go overboard but people tend to go overboard when they go out because of the over restrict yourselves i would not advise you to over restrict yourself i used to over restrict myself me hi i used to over restrict myself i used to tell myself you can't have this you can't have that you can't have this then the on my cheat days the days i used to say okay today's a cheat day i used to eat like a hungry animal I eat anything that crossed my eyes, I will eat it. So do not over restrict yourself because that's the thing. You want things. Food is not just food. I feel like people who really say it's just food, don't even eat that much. Like blah, blah, blah. food is not just food. And that's what that's one thing I have learned on my journey. One thing I learned on my journey. Um, food is not just food. We have emotional connection to food. Food makes us happy, food makes us sad, food reminds us reminds us of a a friend food can remind you of somebody do you get so food has emotional we have emotional connection to food and that's the honest that's the honest that's like the science behind it like it's honestly 100 percent true so do not over restrict yourself you can have a little piece of this have a little piece of that and get back with the rhythm i don't believe in cutting out a class of food entirely like saying oh you cannot have rice like Rice that you've eaten all your life, <laughs> really? Like rice that you've eaten all your life, and you're going to just wake up one day and say you don't you cannot have rice again. That is just a dream. You can try to cut down, cut down on those things, but don't cut them off. Cut down on the amount of rice you eat. If you see that is okay, I feel like rice is what I tend to overeat, and I overeat rice, so I will not be having rice. I'm only having rice two times a week. It is more reasonable than saying I won't be having rice again for five months. Girl, one day in that five months, maybe after the first month, you're going to see rice and you, you cannot go to yourself again. And you're going to eat a, a whole pot of rice. Take it from me. It's happened to me before. I said I was not going to eat yellow fries that they cooked in my house. I said I was not going to eat yellow fries. And one day, the thing held me on my neck and I ate two plates of yellow fries. Me. I'm my weight loss. Until weight loss, don't chop two plates of jello fries. <laughs> Do not cut those things off entirely. Just cut them down. Cut down on those things, but don't cut them off because it is going to, you know, affect you negatively in the long run. If you keep over restricting yourself, you're going to be ravagers. Yeah. So that's all I have to say for my diet. If you have any other questions about the whole diet thing you can ask me in the comments i have been more than happy to help you with that now we're going to go to the third and final part of this video which is exercise <laughs> let me tell you moving your body it's so important when you are losing weight don't get me wrong people lose weight by solely dieting that's 100 percent true but moving your body and you know getting physical activity in is extremely important on your weight loss journey now i didn't say going to the gym because you don't actually have to go to the gym to lose weight it's not a necessity it's not that if you don't go to the gym you will not lose weight as in it's not do or die when it came to exercise how i did it for the first month like for the first um couple of months i didn't go to the gym i used to walk around my house i have videos i have snaps of me just taking 60 minutes in the morning 6 a.m in the morning i am up and active and i am taking walks around my house i used to do six thousand steps around my house that was 60 minutes i used to equate it to a thousand steps in 10 minutes so i used to use 60 minutes i used to walk around my house I would walk, I would skip. After walking around my house for 60 minutes, I would skip. After skipping, I would do one YouTube workout and that would have been, that, would, that, would, that was it. That was it, no gym. For the first, I think, first three months of my weight loss journey, I didn't go to the gym. Um, or maybe first, yeah, yeah, first three months of my weight loss journey, I didn't go to the gym. I was walking and I was skipping and I was doing YouTube workouts. This is a YouTube page that basically saved my life, Grow With Joe. I used to do grow with your workouts all the time. I used to, you know, after doing my walking, after doing my skipping, 
I would do a go with workout in my room. My mom would come and she would cheer me on, say, yes, go girl. And that would be it. I would have my shower and, you know, cause the rest of my day. Next day, I would do it. The next two days, I would do it. The next two days, I would do it. This is what I did for the first three months of my journey. I didn't go to the gym. Now, in all honesty, I started to see very, like, I started to see a lot more difference when I started going to the gym. Like, the progress I, the progress I saw in two weeks, like in two months of the gym is almost the same that I saw in three months of doing home workouts. So I saw more progress. In all honesty, I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I saw more progress going to the gym than I did working out at home. But the truth is that you can achieve the same. Now, I'm trying to tell you, you can achieve the same results in the gym and at home. Just like maybe at home might take you a little longer. But you will see the same progress in these two places. But I will advise going to the gym because I will advise you to strength train. Strength training is lifting. Do your squats. Do train your upper arms. Lift some weights. You are a strong woman. You are a strong man. Lift those weights. It's not going to make you look muscular. Do I have muscle now? Even if I want to have muscle and I don't have. But do I have muscle now? No. <laughs> but I lifted. I used to lift weights to the best of my capability because, my dear, don't do past yourself. It is a gradual process. Don't enter gym for the first time and lift 10 kg. Easy. Start small. So, like, take it slowly. You cannot, the truth is that you cannot even build a muscle group without actively trying to build a muscle group. Like gaining muscle is difficult as is really it's pretty difficult. Like you cannot just stick and guess muscles. Like it doesn't happen overnight. Lifting weights is good for you. It builds muscle, and when you have more muscle, you burn more calories at rest because something I don't know what they said, but you yeah take it from me. So let me tell you something. I won't tell you that you should not focus on cardio because I am a cardio warrior. I used to do cardio for one hour. Yes, obviously, people get their results all the time without cardio, 100%. But for me, I'm telling you, like I said, this is my weight loss journey. I used to do cardio for an hour. For somebody that went from walking around the house to entering the gym, I used to, I married that treadmill. I used to do, t um, I used to do 3, 12, 30, 3 minutes, um, 3 speed, 12 incline for 30 minutes. I used to do this. I will say that is something that extremely helped me in my weight loss journey. So I would go into the gym, I would do an hour of, you know, the thread meal. After that, I would lift. I used to have days, maybe Monday would be legs and my glutes, Tuesday back, Wednesday upper arm, Thursday abs, you know, you measure it. You can, I used to go to the gym. I used to go to the gym like four times a week when I was losing weight. I used to go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Or Friday, you know, five, four, five times a week. That's when I used to go to the gym when I was losing weight. So, yeah, find out the workouts that you enjoy. Find out what works for you. I'll put a workout plan that I used, workouts that I used to do when I was losing weight in the gym. Find a cardio that you enjoy, be it treadmill, be it cycling, be it the elliptical, be it stair master. Any cardio that you enjoy doing, do your cardio. Me, yeah, I'll tell you to do your own cardio. People might tell you, don't do cardio. Me, I'll tell you to do your cardio because cardio. I I owe at least like 40% of my weight loss to cardio. So yeah, I always I will always give cardio its flowers because cardio played a very important part to me. Some tips and advice I will give you if you things that you should know, I feel like you should be 100 percent aware of as you're going into this journey. First is body dysmorphia. When you are losing weight on your weight loss journey, you are going to face a lot of body dysmorphia it's going to feel like your body is never good enough or your body is never the way you want it to be or you don't look good or you always you always feel like you look like the person that you once were or that you've gained back all the weight that you lost to that so body dysmorphia is a very normal thing um i feel like we all experience body dysmorphia and i just want to tell you that this shouldn't discourage you you this is it's really all in your head. Like, if there's anybody that's faced so much body dysmorphia that will make you even say, "Oh, mom, I'm not even eating today." It is me. So I will take it from you. I will take it from you that take it from you that it's really all in your head. It's just all what you are thinking. Don't let it discourage you. Don't let you. Don't let it make you feel like you're not good enough or like your progress is bullshit or as if you know your results are not even coming in. Da, da, da. 
no don't lose hope or anything just keep pushing it happens like it happens i'm not telling you now it happens so that when it happens you're going to be like oh Zoda told me and Zoda is also telling you that you should not let it get the best of you because if you let all this atmosphere get the best of you it is going to and it's going to make you feel terrible it's going to make you feel so many types of ways like when you look in the mirror and you're like me it's all in your head keep pushing keep going you're doing great now for the scale when it comes to the weighing scale let me tell you something here when it comes to your weight there are at least 110 things that involve your weight if you eat a high carb meal yesterday it's going to affect your weight today if your muscles are growing it's going to affect your weight today if you're like if you haven't taken a dump in the morning it's going to affect your weight today so a lot of things affect your weight so the weight on this scale isn't the is not just the amount of fat you have on your body it is the amount of water you have in your body the weight of your muscles the weight of your body fat you know depending of if your food has finished digesting from when you finish eating it you know so many things are involved in the weight you are seeing on the scale so if you have been working out consistently for a month now or for some weeks now and you're not seeing any changes on the scale do not give up you should not allow it to mess with your head i would even advise you to check your weight every week if possible or every month even though that's not what i did but i'll face it to you <laughs> i'll face it to you because that's the best that's the better path to follow the most important thing is that you're seeing physical changes I feel like if you want to measure your results you should use progress photos take a photo when you're starting your journey after a month take another photo and check if you're seeing that you've lost weight after one month than you were last month it means you are making progress even if you look at the scale and you see that there's only one kg you've lost as far as you've seen that there is actual physical in your life as far as you're seeing progress between those two photos it means you're making progress and that's enough and our goal is fat loss our goal is to lose the extra fat that we have accumulated over the years because we're just people that like to enjoy ourselves so our goal is to lose that fat so if the scale is telling you this and telling you that do not lose zeal do not be discouraged do not think that almost since, I, since there's no progress on the scale let me just leave it no cravings and binging with your cravings I feel like they are so they are, okay sometimes people tend to crave sugar things like sugar things like cake things like these things and that i feel like you can always find a healthier alternative to your cravings like if i'm craving a cake i can opt to make a healthier oats oats flour cake and just use my oats to make the cake so that way my cake cravings are being satisfied but i'm still having my oats so i feel like you can always try to find healthier alternatives um healthier you know versions of the meals that you love if it is um if it is shawarma you like you can make a healthier shawarma with a lower calorie tortilla wrap with you know chicken breast with a little not too much mayo you know healthy alternatives so with cheat days um i used to have a cheat day once a month um that is like what i did personally i used to have a cheat day once a month and every month it would have maybe it would be like someone's birthday or like a wedding or celebration so once a month i used to have a cheat day where i used to eat i don't i can't really advise you for one cheat days because i wasn't the best on my own cheat days so <laughs> people advise you to have cheat meals instead of cheat days so i would advise that to you too even though that's not what i did but let me advise you i would advise you to have a cheat meal than to have a cheat day because after those cheat days <laughs> this scale is to triple but even if you have a cheat day and you look at the scale and it has gone up it is only because you ate a lot of carbohydrates the day before you cannot gain body fat overnight maybe except you eat like 200 calories a day i don't know if that's possible or if that's actually how it works but i'm just saying you don't get you cannot 
lose weight in one day so meaning you cannot gain weight in one day so if you finish having a cheat day and you look at the scale and it has tripled it has okay not tripled but like you gain like five extra kg do not be discouraged it is solely because of you had a lot of carbohydrates the day before don't be discouraged my book is okay okay so what happens when you fall off because that's another thing i'm going to advise you on when you fall off you stand up again my dear like there's nothing, there's nothing, there's nothing else i'm not going to tell you to keep to lie down on the ground no when you fall off you get up everybody falls off i feel like i used i fell off too there's a time i got tired it is tiring but you're going to have to stand up again my babes stand up even instead of like 10 times a month as far as you're standing up that's the important part though as far as you're not letting the fact that oh i messed up today and i messed up the day before yesterday so let me just stop no pick yourself back up and keep pushing let me tell you something you're going to see your results and when you see your results people are going to treat you differently and people are going to say oh how did you do it and you're going to tell them it's because i watched other videos and i think i'm joking but still you're going to see your results and you're going to be happy you're going to feel like yes i want this thing i stuck my mind to i accomplished it and you're going to be proud of yourself people that encourage you are going to be proud of you people that you know everybody's going to be like oh wow is this you is that you and that's the thing because people start to treat you differently once you lose weight well that's just if that's just how life is and you're going to be happy you're going to be proud of yourself and that's the most like i tell you there's something more rewarding than being so proud of myself every time when i look at you know you know i look at myself from last year or last two years and i look at myself now even sometimes like now i'm like oh my goodness that's all like you're so big you've added gained so much weight because you ate this or because you ate that and i look back to the girl i was and i'm like if i'm able to do this you are able to do this and if i'm able to do this i should be proud of myself i should say that zelda you have tried as in beat your chest and say that you have tried because it is not easy it is not a walk in the park it is not easy you know feeling so good about yourself today then the body dysmorphia will hit you and tomorrow you feel like shit. so it's not an easy journey my loves that's the truth it's not an easy journey it's not but as far as you are consistent with it as far as you're patient as far as you it's right as far as you move your body and exercise and you partner all these things so you are going to see your results and you're going to be so 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 proud of yourself and people are going to you're going to be unrecognizable because people are going to be like is that you is that you and you're going to reach your goals and after you reach your goals when it comes to maintaining it just keep up with those things keep going to the gym i haven't stopped going to the gym since i lost weight keep going to the gym eat, keep eating keep eating healthy meals don't don't say oh because i've lost weight now let me keep adding one gallon of oil to my food no <laughs> no those habits those little little habits that you adapted when you were trying to lose weight keep them because these are things that are still going to keep you in shape yeah so <laughs> yes and if i didn't use about if i used a meal plan i did not use a meal plan when i was losing weight my struggles i have already said my struggles as i was losing weight i had body dysmorphia scale binging this dirt but i am giving you the best of the advice that i have on how to overcome those struggles if you are having any problems at any time in weight loss feel free to reach out to me i can be your weight loss guardian or whatever i will encourage you and i will never tell you that just because you ate like shit yesterday that doesn't that, that doesn't dictate your whole journey i can be your weight loss angel i can be your accountability partner to find someone that's also trying to lose weight you guys can connect share tips laugh at each other if one person messes up you laugh you you guys will laugh about it together then tell yourself oh, well, tomorrow we go harder and this kind of little little things are all the things that all add up because i had an accountability partner shout out to her so i had a partner that i tell almost today i messed up because today i ate too two cake instead of one cake or whatever and i will tell her and she'll tell me she'll laugh at me if he's laughing at me tell me, oh, tomorrow don't do it again and tomorrow i will not do it again so you know i will help you the best i can if you have any questions any further questions anything that you feel like i did not explain well even though i feel like this is the best 
this is all i've got please this is all i've this is all i've got but if you feel like i haven't explained anything well if you feel like you want some motivation if you feel like you're in a difficult difficult point now in your journey i just need someone to help you burst out reach out to me in the comment section on instagram i'll respond to you i hope this video was as clear as day as clear as crystal i'll join i hope this video has explained everything to you i hope you will be successful in your journeys i hope you will take something away from this video i hope this video has helped you in some type of way i hope this video has contributed to your journey positively i hope you have taken something away from this video i hope you took your pen and paper and you penned down something yeah but i love you guys so much i wish you the best of literal luck in your weight loss journey thank you for sticking to the end of this video that's if you stuck to the end of this video if you didn't stick to the end of this video Love you!